If you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about to-do lists, why they work. You know, are you using to-do lists throughout your day? If you're not, you might be missing out on one of the most powerful productivity tools out there. It doesn't matter if you use the old-fashioned notebook and pen, you know, if you're writing it down, or if you're using a to-do list app on your phone or on your computer. Any of them work. But there's three reasons why they work so well when it comes to keeping you productive all, all day long. So the first one is to-do lists make you plan. You know, when you sit down to make out your to-do list, you're forced to plan your day. You know, you're taking a look at everything that you're working on and you're deciding what you need to take care of today and in what order. And depending on how you make out your list, you might even think about what items on your list have the highest priority. And so the simple task of just making a list makes you um, work out a lot of things in your head ahead of time. This alone can stay more productive will help you stay more productive throughout your day. You know, the same thing is with a shopping list, right? And if you have a shopping list that you're checking off in the store, you've thought out ahead what you want to buy, you're more likely to get everything you need and not get a bunch of extra stuff. Whereas if you just go without a list, who knows what you're going to get, right? It's the same thing as in the, as with you doing a to-do list in what, in what you want to get accomplished. So next one, to do this keep you focused. So having that list in front of you or next to you as you work will help you stay focused on what you need to work on and what you need to accomplish throughout your busy day. We're all dealing with distractions, especially right now. Everything is in such an upheaval, right? And there's distractions all over the place. And it's easy to lose focus and get sucked into meaningless tasks and conversations. And, you know, the kids need you and your spouse needs you and the laundry needs you. And, you know, we're all stuck at home. So a to-do list is going to help you get so much more accomplished. And with your list, you know at a glance what you should be working on. So if you make yourself get into the habit of not calling it a day until each item on your list is taken care of, you're less likely to allow those distractions to take over the big chunks of your day. Hi, Erin. I am a to-do list maker every day. Awesome. So am I. I really think they make a difference. So to-do lists give you a feeling of accomplishment. Checking off an item, boom, check off your to-do list. It gives you that sense of accomplishment, right? For some, this is a, a more effective it's more effective when they cross it off on a piece of paper. For others, it's just as effective if you have it on an app. You know, you just check done on an app or on your computer or whatever. Try them both and see which one works best for you. I use an app for my to-do list. I use an app called Microsoft To-Do, and it's free. So I'm not trying to sell anything, but I used to use Wonderlist, and I actually love that one better, but Wonderlist was bought out by Microsoft, and they're folding it into their to-do. So if you've heard me talk about Wonderlist before, that's the only reason I switched. And even still, the Microsoft version is not quite as good in my mind as the Wonderlist, but it's close, and it works for what I need. So the things, yes, it, um, uh, Yes, guides my day, and yes, love marking things off. It does make a difference. It really does. So the thing I love best about my app, my to-do app, is that um, it's just a little app that sits in the bottom of my computer, and I can click on it and see what I need to do. I can add something to the list. I can schedule things. Um, I can check something off. It's also on my phone, and it's on my laptop, and so it's synced no matter where I access it from. It's always, you know, synced. So you can schedule a task for a certain date and time if you want, or you can create repeating tasks. So, like, for instance, my Avon business is built around a two-week schedule called a campaign, right? And I can create tasks that happen every two weeks to align with my campaign, such as send out reminder texts or promote the new campaign on Facebook, you know, or gosh, you know, I even have one. I even have one that's scheduled to repeat every single day that says make sure you, re you um, recognize birthdays on Facebook. So before I go to bed, I'm checking my task list and I sometimes I won't remember to do those things if I don't have that on there to check off. So having a to-do list that I work every day makes all the difference in the amount that I accomplish every day. And it will do that for you, too. Erin says she's a paper list, paper calendar person. That's cool, though. Whatever works for you, you know. It, it's all about what works, right? <laughs> so, hey, take a moment to appreciate how much you've gotten done each time you check an item off a list. Then use that feeling of accomplishment to power you through the next item. And then rinse and repeat. And before you know it, you've made it through another highly productive day. I bet Erin will agree with me on that. It's just seriously, you get through those tasks, you check them, and 
you, you get everything accomplished that you need to accomplish that day. It's pretty powerful. And so if you're not in the habit of do, using daily to-do lists yet, I hope this encourages you to at least give it a serious try. Make a list of five things you want to get done before you want to call it a day today. And see how that goes. And then get in the habit of working from a list starting tomorrow morning. Seriously, you've got this. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. Do you use a to-do list? Have you found it helpful? How, how has it benefited you? Please share your stories in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks, Aaron, for being live with me today. And anyone else who was live that just didn't talk or anyone who's watching the replay, thank you. And I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.